We are a theater collective, um, the Square Theater. My name is Jing Dong. I'm Jia Wen Hu. And we create community-based and research-based theater performances in both theater spaces and also outdoor spaces. This time, we uh, created this project called Immigrants as the Immigrants. We use the question as a method and a form to explore immigrant experiences. We really want to create a space where immigrants' voices can be heard and they can share the experiences they have that are not easily understood by non-immigrants or in other spaces. So it's more about creating a space for connection and for reflection rather than focusing on creating concrete objects. A little bit of French because I even like to French. About four years ago, yeah. which was also the, the beginning of our collective, we created a project that was a community-based devised theater piece focusing on immigrant, first-generation immigrant experiences. That time, we worked with a group of uh, immigrants in New York City. We uh, created a workshop with them, and then we actually uh, devised a performance with them. And uh, in that experience, we found a lot of questions asked by those immigrants. Participants are very interesting, and it's like those questions about job, about money, about language, culture, everything, like that just inspire us to continue that uh, direction, like to create this project. And we are also constantly learning from different communities and different spaces based on our understanding and the research and information we gather uh, with different communities. For example, in Flushing, it was a very crowded, multi-generational community. Community. So we realized that there we might need something more playful and friendly to kids. And then in places like Inwood Park, it's mm -hmm. quiet and they have a really great local community scene where we wanted to really be part of that atmosphere and bring in. A, fun activities like making origamis and also moving in the beautiful landscape uh, near the river. And then I think last week we went to a community event at South Bronx and it was a place where we felt like we were guests there. So we kind of wanted to offer something so we changed our activity into um, a tea tasting experience where whoever uh, sat down with us could have a cup of tea and enjoy the park and then also share exchange experiences with us. Right now, like we have the stories and all those great quotes, narratives from the participants we collected in the past few months, and we are figuring out how to present to uh, people in the park. Like if it's like a one-on-one or to a small group, how can we share those like a beautiful stories, the questions to them? Yeah, and because we are used to uh, working in a theater setting where like everyone in the room know the conventions, we know what to expect. But in the park, it's completely different. Yeah. Many people, they, they don't go to theater. And even if they go to theater, they have a different set of expectations in the park. So we also need to test those things out. Like if we approach someone, would they just feel it's maybe, are you trying to we sell something? <laughs> or yeah. yeah There's a lot of like a practical issues that we need to solve. Yeah, I think look at your interview for five seconds. Maybe we should add something like that. Yeah. I, I, I'm confused for this one because there are a lot of pauses, like the pauses of actions. What does he want to check? Does he think I am not qualified? Mm. So I that the interview is finished, then look at okay. her for five seconds. Still still Because this is a document about the organization I work. Uh -huh. okay. So it's the same document. 
So then to look at the same document. Okay. And also, I think I was a little confused when the, you were like showing me the your your thoughts and cars, and maybe it's a, it's the timing. You're talking. I think I'm focusing on like listening to you. Yeah. But sometimes if you like show me this while talking, I think that 